Yofrim Wilima, a former DTA MP, is currently serving an 18-year prison term after being convicted of high treason and other charges. While in prison, Mwilima's health condition started deteriorating and there has been calls to release him on medical grounds. Even though government has pronounced itself on the consideration of releasing Mwilima on medical grounds, the day he will emerge from the gates of the Vendu Correctional Facility seems to be far. The government made a public statement to that effect saying that that consideration is on the cards. I'm hearing a new development of events towards that. Therefore, I put the question and I put it to you, Mr. Minister. Has the government considered the request of releasing Mr. Geoffrey Molima on humanitarian grounds? How far are you? Has government reneged on that promise? What is the matter? As I'm hearing that things are not going the correct direction as it was promised. The, this question is, I suppose, is very well meant. It's not political. Um, and my answer is, the consideration has always been there. It was well meant. But currently, as we stand, the provisions of our law require certain conditions to be met by a person to be considered in that regard. In this respect, you could not find anything in the law that would allow us to, to do as we had wanted to do. As such, uh, the case remain under consideration up to what point that requirement will be met. However, I hear that the honorable member or the member you refer to it has opted to go to court and uh, we are ready to take to, this, to, to, to implement whatever decision the court will take in this regard. Mwilima, who suffers from a number of illnesses, is suing the Commissioner General of the Namibian Correctional Service, the Minister of Safety and Security, the Medical Officer of the Vendu Correctional Facility, and the Officer in Command of the prison in a case before the High Court. He is asking the court to compel the authorities to release him on medical grounds. Mwilima has spent more than 21 years in jail after his arrest in 1999 for his role in the attacks aimed at separating the former Caprivi region, now Zambezi, from Namibia. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Parliament.